Uh, we're recording. Here we go. <clears throat> All right, let's have a. I like that, it's kind of quirky. I like it down low. Oops. Uh, no, we'll get rid of that one. Oops. Oh, yeah, it holds the notes by default too. Whoa. Might make those ones softer too. Yeah, a little, put a little parcel on it. So there we go. We'll do the next part. That part. What are we going to put here? We've got clicky things at the moment. Are they muted? Yeah, I don't think we missed them. Now we'll turn that into something else, I think. So let's edit and. Um, Turn it up a bit, turn the velocity up. Ah, <clears throat> oh, it's gone back to woodblock because we didn't fucking save it. Ah, uh, what was I on there? Let's have a look. I don't even remember. No, it wasn't ethnic, it was percussion of some sort, wasn't it? Um... Cushion. There we go. Taiko, I think it was. Let's see it with Taiko drums. Save. You've got to save everything you do. It's pretty annoying. Do a double on the last one, I reckon. Let's see if we can do something up high. Just a little bit. I find the reverb controls really crazy. We might chuck some chorus on it actually, that could sound pretty cool. Just a smidge, even just one, one notch. All right, now we're going to put that in our sequence. So we'll go back to our sequencer, which is up here, our song sequence. Can't really see that, but it's there's this song sequencer one up there. Oh, you can sort of see it a bit better, I guess, if I do that. Um, so with the song sequencer, we then can go in and we can choose our measure. We're on song four. We're going to go to where past my loop point is, which is nine. 
Then we're going to go into the style tracker. You can go into step mode. There we go. So we're up to this one. Measure nine. And we're now going to put <clears throat> um, the third one in. So I think you just go enter. Yep. Two, three, four. So now what will happen is when we play our track, if we press uh, locate, because at the moment I've got it in this loop mode, and that allow us to jam out the track. And it'll basically keep repeating this bit and we can sort of play the whole track by doing mutes. And then what we do is, and that would be a bridging one, and then what you do is set it up so that with your style tracker, step, there we go, and then 16, you'd go and put in that one again, one more, one, two, three, four. And that gives us time to then go, oh, hang on, what did I just do there? So can I just delete one of those? Let's go edit, delete measure, nope, delete measure, 15 to 15, yes, enter, execute. Exit, step, there we go. Yeah, one more in there, okay, cool. So then what we can do, is you can set little, little loop regions. So what I do is in a live mode is you'd be quickly setting up your loop regions and you can set eight there and then you can push up here and you can see as you push this one up, it actually loops in the same spot. It's a really manual setup. It's not like um, Piggy Tracker or LSDJ where you can sort of do this stuff automatically. Super manual unit, um, but I'm writing tracks to try to perform live. Uh, and that's what this track that I, what I'm about to record is going to be. It's going to be sort of a, a fun live take. <laughs> even do a high note on that. Just hear it at full speed. Let's just check how our batteries are doing. Oh, getting a bit low. 